Testing, test, testing. Uh, good afternoon. This is um, uh, the support for uh, Tales of Hawaii. Um, Gerard and I are working on um, uh, Tales of Hawaii website, doing little edits, uh, but we found some information which may be of some interest. So, um, let me share my screen here. There we go. Okay, so there was actually a little task that I had to take care of. Um, Gerard had brought it to my attention, and it's in regards to, uh, let's see, it's in regards to this question. Um, it's about the USS Boston. So I had to contact the National Park Service. This is the San Francisco Maritime. Um, the uh, San Francisco Maritime, the National Historic Park in California. And um, this is, um, I was able to make contact um, through their online site. Um, and what I basically asked was uh, inquiring about photographs, large file images of the USS Boston, the history, and list of officers and seamen. Uh, where is the USS Boston located today when it sank, uh, sank in 1946 off San Francisco? Is there a map of this location? Any assistance is much appreciated. And then there is actually um, a link here um, that Jabbar had found. Uh, let's see, this is um, information of the American naval fighting ships, the Boston. So Boston is the capital of Massachusetts, and there are different resources. The fifth Boston, a protected cruiser, was launched the 4th of December, 1884, by John Roach and Sons. Chester, Pennsylvania, and commissioned the 2nd of May, 1887, Captain F. M. Ramsey in command. Boston, being the second cruiser of the new Navy completed, was not ready for active service until 1888. She then made a cruise to Guatemala and Haiti to protect um, here it says American citizens, but what I would do is I would correct that to U.S. citizens because uh, the ship was basically launched in 1884, and in 1871 is when the United States was incorporated uh, by the British Empire. So this word here, American, um, that's a hijacked word, I would say. So American citizens is not really... Um, the appropriate term, um, that's, I would call that disinformation. So here the appropriate term for this would be U.S. citizens. Uh, she, being the Boston, she joined the Squadron of Evolution on the 30th of September 1889 and cruised to the Mediterranean and South America the 7th of December, 1889 to the 29th of July, 1890, and along the East Coast in 1891. Boston departed New York on the 24th of October, 1891 for the Pacific via Cape Horn, arriving at San Francisco on the 2nd May, 1892 except for a cruise to protect, um, and again, here we have 
American interest, but the appropriate word here would be U.S. interest in Hawaii. And the cruise was from the 11th of August, 1892 to the 10th of October, 1893. She remained on the West Coast until laid up at Mare Island Navy Yard on the 4th of November, 1893. Recommissioned 15th of November, 1895, Boston joined the Asiatic Station at Yokohama, Japan on the 25th of February, 1896. She remained in the Orient protecting and here again, we have a misuse of the word American, and it should be U.S. interest. For the next four years, and during the Spanish-American War, took part in the Battle of Manila Bay on the 1st of May, 1898, and the capture of Manila on August 13, 1898. She remained in the Philippines, assisting in the pacification until 8th June, 1899. Boston returned to San Francisco 9th of August, 1899, and went out to commission at Mare Island Navy Yard the 15th of September, 1899. She remained out of commission until the 11th of August, 180, excuse me, 1902, and then rejoined the Pacific Squadron. During the 16th through the 25th of June, 18, 1905, she helped represent the Navy at the Lewis and Clark Exposition at Portland, Oregon. And between April, uh, the 23rd of April and the 10th of May, 1906, she helped care for the victims of the San Francisco earthquake and fire. She went out of commission again at Puget Sound Navy Yard the 10th of June, uh, the 10th of June, 1907. From 15th June, 1911 to September, 2016, she served as a training vessel with the Oregon Navy Militia and was loaned to the shipping board uh, the 24th of May, 1917 to June, 1918. On the 18th of June, 1918, she was commissioned at Mare Island Navy Yard and as a receiving ship and towed to Herba Buena Island, California, where she was serving as a receiving ship until 1946. So this was after uh, World War II. Uh, she was renamed Dispatch 9, August, um, the 9th of August, 1940, and reclassified IX-2, the 17th of February, 1941. Uh, so this is um, actually 11 months before the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Dispatch was towed, was towed to sea and sank off San Francisco the 8th of April, 1946. So here I actually have, um, I will put links in the video description, um, but here I did want to share, where is this, um, let's see if I can open this back up. Uh, let me take one moment here to find this one. So here is uh, where I actually wanted to share. Let's, let's see, the USS Boston. Um, so this is a Wikipedia page, uh, Wikipedia, USS Boston. 1884, and for other ships with the same name, see USS Boston, 
and the USS Dispatch. They're one and the same. And as we scroll down, uh, what I was interested in sharing uh, with this link is the USS, let's see, the USS Dispatch, the IX-2, the ex-Boston at Urba Buena Island shortly before her scuttling in 1946. So let's see a big picture of this. Uh, this is actually the ship. And here's Urba Buena Gardens. Oh, excuse me. Um, in San Francisco, they have Urba Buena Gardens, uh, which is like uh, where the Museum of Modern Art is. Um, but it's Urba Buena Island. So where is Urba Buena Island? Um, here we can see Urba Buena Island, uh, which connects the, um, the ramp from, um, I want to say, the East Bay, Oakland, um, Emeryville, to connect to San Francisco. So this here is Urba Buena Island. And that's the, um, the ramp to the San Francisco, uh, to the Bay Bridge. And then here we have um, in map form. So this is Urba Buena Island is located in San Francisco. And what I'm going to do is just zoom in here. Hopefully this comes out. Okay, so here is San Francisco. And then we have uh, the I-80, Highway I-80. It basically connects San Francisco, the peninsula here. Uh, this is, uh, San Francisco is considered the city and county um, all inclusive. Uh, and the border, it borders here, um, San Mateo, there's Daly City. So this line here um, includes the Navy shipyard. And um, it's where uh, ships, uh, military, naval ships were being repaired in the Navy shipyard there in the Bayview Hunters Point area. Um, Lots of, it's a high homicide rate uh, there in that area when I was living back in San Francisco in um, before, let's say 2000, uh, 2006, 2007. Um, so this little blue line here is actually uh, the Bay Bridge. So you've got the ramp to the I-80, this, symbol right here is actually on, um, let's see, the um, Urba Buena Island. Here it seems to say Treasure Island. I don't think I can make it any bigger and it just gets fuzzier. So let me come back here. And the other thing that I wanted to share, uh, just take, close this. The other word that I wanted to share with the um, Wikipedia is, um, let's come over here. What does that word scuttling mean? So, come back to share here. Scuttling. So I just want to make sure that I'm sharing that. Um, share scuttling definition. Okay. So let's make this bigger here. Okay. I guess that's as big as it gets. Um, scuttling. Here we have um, scuttling. An opening, a small opening or hatch with a movable lid in a deck or hull of a ship 
or in a roof, wall, or floor of a building. The lid or hatch of such an opening, and in nautical terms, it's a verb, to cut or open a hole or holes in a ship's hull. So here we have, um, let's see here, scuttling. Uh, an article about scuttling ships for the 19th century British Young Games. Scuttling is the deliberate sinking of a ship by allowing water to flow into the hull. This can be achieved in several ways. Sea cocks or hatches can be opened at the sea or holes may be ripped into the hull with brute force or with explosives. Scuttling may be performed to dispose of an abandoned, old, or captured vessel to prevent the vessel from becoming a navigation hazard as an act of self-destruction to prevent a ship from being captured by the enemy force or in the case of a vessel engaged in illegal activities by the authorities as a block ship to restrict navigation through a channel or within a harbor to provide an artificial reef for, delivers, uh, for divers and marine life or to alter the flow of rivers. So here's actually um, a monument to the scuttled ships by Amadeus uh, Amandus uh, Adamson, just off the promenade of uh, Sevastopol, the Russian Black Sea, Black sea ship, Sea Fleet, was scuttled prior to the siege of Sevastopol in the, in the Crimean War. Okay, so I'm going to close this here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so um, so there's lots of interesting finds, um, and I can close this here now. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I wanted to share. Um, so so uh, Tales of Hawaii is coming along. Um, there are so far uh, three interviews that have been completed. Um, I will put links in the video description. Um, if there are any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to put them in the comments section or in the discussion page. And um, we look forward to hearing from you. There's a lot of great information that's coming out. And um, um, I, I suspect this will be a very interesting um, project as it further develops. So uh, enjoy your Sunday.